Hello, all you viewers. This is Mr. PC Gamer. Uh, I'm doing my first hacking tutorial, and yes, my uh, doing a Pokemon ROM, Pokemon ROM hacking tutorials. Um, this is my first tutorial, by the way, and I'm gonna have this folder in the description. So I'm gonna have all the um, all of, all of these in the description, which includes everything so we are starting with advanced map so let's just open advanced map and don't worry about these tile sets I've just I've been trying to add tile sets and they never seem to work okay so you load your ROM first and you find it in just in this case it's called Pokemon tutorials and Pokemon fire red so we're starting a whole new fresh fire red game Okay, now what what these means these folders from header is um all the uh, all the routes and the um cities and stuff connection lists. Uh, I'm just guessing these are from all the houses and test map. You don't even need to use any of these. So let's just go ahead and start off in Pellet Town. So the basics of advanced maps is using these blocks, these tile sets, and these um, yeah. So if we go to movement permissions, as you can see, the C means you can walk anywhere in that place, and four means you can surf on um on the. Water and the uh, one means it's like a block, like a force field or something. Events, I'll get them, I'll get to them later. Wild Pokemon, you can add wild Pokemon, the max level and the minimum level. The encounter ratio, 100 is every step is a Pokemon and header. So for example, you can change this to like uh, Rainbow Town, for example. Oops. Um, I don't think it's it doesn't have to be in all capitals, but you can just make it into capitals. Which I'll do that right now, actually, because I think every other yeah every other city and town is capitals. Okay, so we named our town, and these are the music. So like you can add fanfare three or four, Gary's theme, and so on. Now, with these, just some tile sets are pretty messy. So, like, if you want to add more of the Pokemon Center, um, half of the tiles will be here, which is pretty sucky. Like, they should really organize the tiles and stuff. And um, if you right click with your control and right click, you can copy this whole house for example and then just place it here oh well that was pretty bad but okay well yeah so just place it here for example or something and um we'll just go in a little bit into header the map dimensions so the map width is 24 so if we change that to 30 for example it will change the width and it will add more space to the actual map and if we go to height change that to 50 say for example 50 and then yeah it just changes the whole thing you can add more space into it and stuff and um yeah let's change it back to way it was and um and the bucket as well so if you want to add for example cover this bit just click on it and then it will cover it and some tiles for example if i want to cover this you, you really can't because um the top of the palette the top of Professor Oak's lab is covered in that tile set. So 
So I'll cover that maybe soon in my other tutorials. And, um, oh, whoops, I wasn't meant to do that. So, yeah, you, you can do that, but it was just ruin, ruin the um, whole thing. And, for example, if you just do this whole, just do the whole thing. And then, and if you don't want that anymore, just say you want wild grass. If you just click on it, it will make this whole thing wild grass. And, like, tall grass, for say. And, um... Yeah, it's pretty good to make hacking, like, to make hack games, well, not, to make your own Pokemon games. Um, I'm, I'm guessing, I think this is the only tool you can use to edit maps and stuff. I'm not sure what other things, other programs you can use to make the map. So I'm just gonna fill in this whole thing. Um, okay, that should be enough. <laughs> Yeah, so you can add more map dimensions and stuff, and you can change the weather, um, the sandstorm, or mist. I don't know too much about the map scripts, so we won't do anything to them. So, for example, the tile set as well, if you want to do 1-1, one, one, oh, whoops, 1-1, one, one, and it will just, it will stay. Yeah, you just gotta play around with it, I guess. It looks a bit dodgy, but, um... Yeah, so if you go back, I'm gonna change this to 2, for example. Um... I don't... That was a bit weird. Yeah, so if we go back to 0, it will just... It'll be normal again, yeah, then. Um... Yeah, create new map. You can, for example, call it the... I don't know. Fruiting Garden, for example. Oops, pretty sure that's how you spell Viridian, and then Garden. You can change the width and the height and the tile set. For outside purposes, um, you would change it to zero. Tile set 1 will be 0, and tile set 2 will be 1. Um, no. Yeah, so then, whoops. So yeah, so basically you can change the tile sets here. So for example, if I want to put like a signpost probably here and then here. And now we'll get onto these border blocks. The so border blocks is basically, so for example, if you walk over there. Um, it will be changed into this. So example, like, I'm just doing a rough copy of. For example, like that, you want to change it into like a little tree, and without the middle bits, I'm guessing. Um, it will show up here, that'll be your border blocks. Um, now let's go on to, we haven't really talked about moving permissions that much, but anyway. So let's go to number one. For example, you make a Pokemon Center and you don't want anyone to walk, walk through it. This is where number one comes in. The one movement permission means it's blocked, so it's sort of like a force field, but it just it blocks everything. C, as you can see, um, it can you can walk pretty much everywhere with it. So like you can walk, yeah, you can walk pretty much there, everywhere. And four is water, I believe. So you can use surf, and the rest I'm not too sure about. I'm guessing you can just experiment with them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the part one of my Pokemon hacking tutorials. Next, we'll go on to the palette editor, the show palette editor. We'll do that next, in the next episode. Um, just remember, this is my first tutorial, so please like... If you like this tutorial and comment if you need any help with anything um yeah i hope you like my video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial goodbye